Hi and welcome to a video talking about Prim's algorithm, which is a way of finding out the minimum spanning tree on a network diagram. Sounds complicated, but it's kind of fun. Okay, Prim's algorithm is a set of rules to find a minimal spanning tree for a graph. Or I guess uh, if you wanted to speak English, that's uh, a set of rules to find the shortest route between two points or between two vertices on a graph. So here's Prim's algorithm. Let's have a look. Start at any vertex, and we'll check out an example in a minute. From that vertex, we're going to choose the edge with the lowest weight, or the lowest number on it. And I'll now be collecting two vertices and one edge. So we kind of think whether we're collecting vertices and edges as we go. From either of the verte vertexes, or either vertex so far, choose the edge from either of them with the lowest weight and you keep that going, you will now have three vertices and two edges. We'll, uh, we'll see in an example because that makes no, little sense just on its own here. And we're going to keep going until all the um, edges, uh, all, all the vertex vertexes or the vertices have been collected anyway. So I'm going to put those, um, those instructions up there and I think uh, you'll agree with me, a good example is uh, where, where we're going to see whether we can do this or not. Okay, I'm going to start at any vertex and uh, I guess A is a pretty logical place to start. Now from that vertex, I'm looking at number 2 now, from that vertex I'm going to choose the edge with the lowest weight. So I have a choice between uh, a 7 or a 5. I'm pretty sure the 5 is the lowest weight, so I'm going to choose that one and I'm going to move along there. Okay, now I've collected, even just with one edge diagram there, I've collected a vertex at A, a vertex at D, and I've got an edge there. Now from any, from any of those points so far, from either vertex so far, choose another edge that's connected to that with the lowest weight. So I'm now comparing 7, 9, 15, and 6. I'm going to choose 6 because I'm supposed to. Okay, so I'm going to draw my... Uh, minimal spanning tree red line down to there. Now I've collected uh, vertex A, vertex D and vertex F and I've got a couple of edges as well. Now from anywhere on my red diagram so far, from any vertex visited so far, I'm going to choose the edge with the lowest weight. So I'm going to compare 7, I'm going to compare 9, 15 and 8 there. I think you'll agree that 7 is my next one that I need to collect. So I've collected 7 now. Once again, I'm repeating step 4 from any vertex visited so far. Choose the one with the lowest weight. Now, I have already collected vertex A, B, D and F. Okay, So I'm comparing 8, 7, 9, 15, another 8, um, so they're all the ones that I could collect and I think you can see that 7 is my lowest one from any point on my red diagram so far. So I'm going to go there. Then I have another look. Now I have collected, let me be clear here, we've got a bit of a decision to make here. We've collected vertex A, B, E, D and F. So we don't have to revisit those vertices in this. We want the minimum root between vertices and we need to collect them all, sure. But we don't need to repeat ourselves. We don't need to go back to D or back to uh, F here. We've already collected that. So, of the vertices that are still to go and from anywhere on my red diagram, what's my shortest um, edge, my lowest edge? I have 11, I have 9, I have 5 and I have 8. I think the 5 is the winner. So let's head that way. And there's only one other vertex that I need to collect, so I'm going to then just compare getting to G by, through the 9 or the 11, and I think you'll see that uh, 9 would be our best choice there. So that's quite a process, but we talked our way through it there. We don't need to loop back on ourselves. Once we collect a vertex, we don't need to go back to that vertex if we can help it. Um, matter of fact, we shouldn't go back to that vertex. So um, that red uh, line around there is uh, our minimal spanning tree. Now we can figure out if we're asked to, and we often are asked to, find the minimal spanning tree length. Now in order of the ones that we collected there, we collected our 5, 
we collected our 6, we collected that 7, then another 7, then that 5, then that 9. Add all those uh, distances up, we're basically finding the length of the red section that I've created there. 39 units, now that might be 39 kilometres or 39 hours of work or whatever, I don't know what, it, what those uh, weightings represent in this particular case, but it can solve problems for us. So that's a minimal spanning tree algorithm called Prim's algorithm and it's kind of fun. Uh, grab a different diagram and see if you can go through those steps and uh, you'll get the hang of it I'm sure. Or watch this wonderful video again. <laughs> and there we have it. So uh, that's Prim's algorithm to find minimal spanning trees.